Hi, I'm Andrew Watson. Thanks for dropping by my guitar blog. It is Saturday, June 25th, 2011. And I had a question that uh, was asked by Alex. He lives in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And he wanted to know if I could quickly run through the setup that I use off of the mic into the mixer and then eventually into the computer for doing all the recording that I do for my Creative Guitar Studio YouTube channel. So we're going to start off with the mic at the amp and I'll just basically run down how everything is set up. One of the microphones I use around the studio quite often are the uh, Apex 185s. They're a stereo matched pair. They're fairly inexpensive and they work really well for doing most general recording. It's a condenser mic and it does need to be powered as well. So on your mixer, you'll need to have phantom power to be able to run these. Uh, they also come with a 10 decibel drop down switch, which is really nice if you're recording something like um, a very loud guitar with distortion. Uh, that way you can drop 10 decibels off the tip right away. As far as uh, the mount, it's quite nice. Um, it's a standard mic mount, sort of an old fashioned radio style mount and uh, works really great, comes uh, along with the mics. Um, and when I place it upon the amp, it's basically coming about, I would say three to four inches off the uh, speaker cone, but you know, it depends on how loud the amp is and uh, what you're after in the recording sound in the end, because you may want to move that mic around a little bit. Although uh, I would probably suggest keeping at least about three inches away from the speaker cone. That's the way I tend to get some of the better recordings around here. So after the mic, uh, we're heading over next to the mixer. So let's go to the mixer next. One of my favorite compact mixers is the Mackie 402. It's a nice two channel mixer that's inexpensive. It's around $110 or so, and it does have phantom power as well. If you want to run a condenser microphone that requires phantom power, um, it's a two channel mixer. And uh, on channel one right now, I'm running my spoken word mic. And on channel two, I have that uh, one for the microphone on my amp right now. Uh, you'll want to set your EQs to the mics that you own uh, right now on these Apex 185s. I like the uh, lows turned up a little bit and then uh, the highs a little bit off center. So um, the main mix uh, after that I usually have around four. So I record fairly quiet and I usually bring things up in my uh, mixing uh, portion of uh, working with the audio. So I'll be doing that uh, in Adobe Audition later. But um, from here, what you would be doing is running the tape out uh, it's a couple of RCAs and that would go to whatever your device is. Now, uh, if we were going to the computer, I'd be running cables out of here, going directly to my analog digital converter box, which would take me into my USB port on my computer. And from there, uh, if I wanted to record uh, straight audio, let's say a guitar track, I'd be using Adobe Audition. If I was recording some video, I would be doing that with uh, Sony Vegas. So there you have it, from mic to mixer to the computer, it's a pretty simple setup. And I like going a lot of times simply when I'm doing these uh, YouTube videos because it saves time and then you're able to go very quickly. And uh, speed a lot of times is what uh, I'm after when I'm doing things uh, that have to go up to the net. So uh, quality doesn't have to get compromised though when you go with uh, some simpler equipment. If you have some decent stuff and you have to sometimes spend a couple hundred dollars, but it's well worth it in the end. And you can make some pretty decent recordings out of it as well. Basically 90% of everything that you hear off my YouTube channels is recorded with this exact mic setup that you just saw me run through. So hopefully that's helped you out. And uh, thanks again for all the great emails and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now.